So you've got baby resting on its hands and somebody is spotting. That's great. I love the use of safety in this image. But now what we're faced with, and I mean, even if this photographer had brought the drop all the way up to the, you know, above the frame, you still got to get rid of that hand. So we're going to do that. Let's start by duplicating the layer and showing you the um, quick selection tool. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, select right around here. So I'm going to go from this, this implied line here and I'm going to do about the middle of the little ball in the hat. And oddly enough, it's selecting very well, but sometimes you're going to have um, a situation where it doesn't select so well and you have to, I mean, it gets really aggravating, but I tr trust me, it, it, can, it can get done. Um, so take your time if you have to, don't be dissuaded. You can um, toggle, so you can be on this one and toggle between um, addition and then if you want to take it off, you press Alt Option and you can zoom in and take it off your selection. So at this at this rate, I, I don't need to do anything, but I'm sure if maybe the hand got selected, I'd have to do some manipulating. So my selection is pretty clear cut. I'm gonna go up to Select and Mask right now, and I'm going to use this right here. It is the Refine Edge brush, and I'm not gonna let it be too big because this is a very powerful tool sometimes. Um, I do want to select this fuzz on baby's hat. I'm going to bypass the finger. I'm selecting the fuzz still. The fuzz is going to keep it realistic looking. You want the realisticness to really show. Um, I did see in here that I should have, um, I didn't should have, I want to select this little hole. It's like, it was too small for the the quick selection tool to really pick up, so I wanted to make sure I did that nice and tight. Okay, um, looks good. I've got a radius, a high radius, which means um, when you have a shorter radius, it's going to be a little messier, and when you get, let's see, it's that size of the edge refinement. Um, when you go a higher number, it's going to pay more attention. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit more sophisticated. So. If you were doing maybe the coast of an ocean, you could settle for a, a lower size of edge refinement. But I'm doing something really meticulous, which is fuzz on hat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go all out and use a, a nice high uh, edge refinement. So I like to make it just a selection because this is how I this is just my process, but there's other types of ways you can do it. You can make it into a layer mask, you can make it a new layer. Um, but for for this I do selection. Uh, don't worry about decontaminating colors. There is a purpose for that but we're not using it right now and I'm just gonna press OK. Now this is selected. Cool, right? Now our next step is to fill it in with a like color but not let it look flat. So we're gonna try and recreate the blanket. One way you could always do it is um, what you could do is you could select inverse and make this a layer. Now you have everything but this section. And what you could do is you could take this side of the image and mirror it so you have this nice beautiful blanket over here. But you still gotta work with the top of the head. So because this whole canvas has to be repainted in a sense, I'm just gonna go from the beginning and, um, not from the beginning, but I'm just gonna redo it all now if this was filled up all the way to here and maybe it was just the hand we needed to get rid of, I would do the flip canvas method and I'm going to show you that really quick. So you saw how I selected this and then I selected the inverse which meant I am trying to, I'm going to, selecting the inverse means the opposite. So I selected this and I made it a new copy. So only this is on this layer. Now I'm going to take this in between layer and I'm going to press command T and then right click and press flip horizontal. Now, what you get now is this. You get blanket, ta-da! Isn't that crazy? But like I said, you still gotta do the top. So 
I'm not going to do this method for this particular image. Delete, go back up a few times, let's see, select mask. From here I'm going to go shift command N, make new layer, and I still have the selection, but and I also have new layer. Um, so my painting method for this is, it's not unique, other people do it, but this is just it in, in, pro, in, in what is the word? In progress, there we go. Um, I'm selecting color over and over again, I for eyedropper, and your brush would be B, and to find that out, you just come on over here, see? Well, I, I programmed mine to be R because I have something else that it, that B does. So if you ever wonder what your shortcut key is, just go to the tool, hold it down, and you'll see it. See, eyedropper is I. I is universal for the, is the beginning shortcut in Photoshop. Uh, let's see, let's see. Now, you gotta be careful you don't get banding. Banding is horrible. And it will happen. So try not to dab too many colors on. Or shades of mauve, or whatever this is. <laughs> Beige. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're looking good. I'm going to leave it there. Deselect. And then I'm going to, I don't have to worry about those edges anymore, so I'm just going to sort of brush it in. Now, there's a fine, not a fine, it's a very distinct difference between this and this. So I'm going to command L, which will bring up the levels, and I'm just going to raise it up. And suddenly we have a lighter blanket. Boom! I'm noticing, though, that the refinement around the fuzzy um, hat isn't the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to refine that again. And this, my friends, is the process. <laughs> I'm going to shift the edge back, which means it's going to go into what we were selecting. I hope I'm doing it in the right direction. Nope. I'm going to go this way. Sorry. This gets tricky. You sort of just have to watch it. So I see that it went into it. That's good. And now I'm going to do that step, that process I did again. So Shift Command N and do the painting. Da 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 da. -da. And then I want to make sure. Okay. Um, and then we do the Command L. We bring it up for light, down for darkness, up for light. That's the mid tones. This is the whites. These are the blacks. Um, my mom. Okay, it's looking better. I will allow that to be acceptable for the sake of this video. Now I'm going to go and redo it all the time. I do want to make that a layer mask so that I can layer it, or I can feather it a little bit right here. Oops. I'm going to do a hardness. I see a line. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other side. Why I didn't do it together is so that I have a little bit more control over what my, um, my sides look like, because obviously the light is distributed. It hits the baby right here. This is going to be a little bit darker, so I have to make sure that shows. And it's just when you when you part it up like that, when you separate it, you just get a little bit more control. Uh, okay. Select to mask again. I'm going to do the edge refinement on this hat. Now it saved my settings from last time because I have remember settings selected. I don't like how it is selecting the braid on this. So I'm gonna actually pull this down a little bit. A little bit more. I like that. Nah. This has to get selected too. And again, you can make these in layer masks. You can make it a little, and you can spend time making sure everything get set up correctly, that nothing looks weird. I'm going to select this, whatever it was, and this. Okay, um, bring back the refinement a little bit, a bit more. Shift it down to zero. In this case, I'm going to do something Called quick mask and I pressed Q to create quick mask and brush on black with just the brush 
There's no special tool in this, but I saw two things that weren't really selecting when I tried, so I go in the old school method and doing quick mask. Okay, now like I said, you can always uh, play with it with a, a mask. So this one again, Shift Command N. I'm gonna make sure it is over the old one so that I can make sure this, this uh, transition gets fixed. And this is about the color, so let's go. Let's paint this on. I wanna make sure I maintain a shadow. Baby's not floating. And I don't like, this is a little too saturated for me. I see, I see color maybe, maybe you see it in the quality of the video that's being made, but I don't know. Uh, let's make sure we keep some of the shadow. Look like that. And let's make sure we transition. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to make it a mask. I like how this situation is unique because no two editing problems, not problems, editing answers, Q and A are the same, you know? I'm brushing this off. I should turn hardness off. Let's bring this back. I should have checked that earlier. We're gonna go 50% opacity and 0% hardness. And I'm gonna feather on the, the shadow that was happening there. Um, at this point, I'm gonna I'm just gonna ignore any problems with the hat. Even though I don't really see ones that stand out way too much. We're gonna pretend everything looks hunky dory, okay? Just like I said, for the sake of this video, um, we don't have seven hours to watch me Put all that together. Uh, right click flatten on your layers tab or layers bar and then I'm going to probably duplicate the layer and I'm going to soften this line with the um, the healing brush or the sorry the what do they call it I always forget the terms healing brush tool so it would be a J, J key. And I'm softening it but then I'm going to also um, paint over it because you can see a red tone. Maybe you can see a red tone and then there's it's very neutral. So I'm going to make sure that's get, that gets covered. On a new layer, make sure it neutralizes. Something like that. And then maybe paint a little bit more. And then layer it off of the baby. So, it was a pretty long video, right? But I'd like to say that I covered um, how to do a unique background fix. Because I'm pretty sure if you just did the flipped horizontal frame, it would be a hot mess. It would take a long time to figure out getting around baby's head. Okay. Uh, from there, you just do whatever you need to do. Boom. Now, I do agree. You're probably saying, gosh. The yeah, outline of the hat is sketchy. Like, it's bad. I know. <laughs> this is for this video. I swear it'd be a lot neater in real life. And I'd probably brighten this side up just a tad with a dodge or so. Okay. I hope that helped. <laughs> I hope somebody understood that. Tell me if you did. Okay? And let me know if you have any other questions. And, um... I'd love to help you out. Alrighty.